Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alex and this is The Car Creative. Today is going to be maybe like a bit more of a life, uh, a day, day in the life kind of thing. I'm going to South Point. I'm going to pick up a car that they need me to shoot. I'm not really sure which one it's going to be. So I just figured I'd take you guys along, show you a bit of my process. So stick around guys. I've got my gear here. I'm just going to pack all this up into the truck and get going. Hands down, one of my favorite features of the new Toyota Tacoma is that you can start it from your watch. A lot of people ask me what I did to actually start getting paid work with dealerships. I mean, it's obviously a natural progression for car photographers to want to work with car dealerships because they've got cars and we like to shoot cars. So it's a pretty natural partnership, but why do they want to pay you to do work for them? That's the real question. So in this video, I think I'll walk you guys through kind of four or five steps about how I did that process. And the first one is just create a really strong portfolio. The benchmark should be people that are already getting paid to do that work. Um, I started by shooting my Honda Civic, my 2006 wasn't a good looking car, but I bought a CPL filter and I had to learn how to use it so I could confidently go in and say, hey, I know what I'm doing. And then I moved up into, you know, we bought my wife a Nissan Rogue. Again, not a pretty car, so to speak, but it helped me learn how to use my camera and in turn learned a lot about Lightroom, learned a lot about Photoshop so that when I came in to get a paid job, I knew exactly what I was doing and was confident with what I was doing. So that's step one. I'm gonna head into this meeting and then we'll get into step two a little bit later. All right guys, we are cleaned up, we are gassed up, and we're on our way to our first location. The reality is when you're working with any dealerships, you kind of always have to go with the flow because sometimes they don't know what's going on. Sometimes they change their mind. Sometimes they're busy as heck. And sometimes they want to work with you. And I think that's just a reality of what we're dealing with here. It's not really one of the tips. So the second tip would be, once you've got your portfolio and you've started making work that you're proud of and feel like you can kind of sell, that's when you go and you start telling people that you are a car photographer. And what will start to happen is hopefully when you're at your parties or shindigs, get togethers with people, they'll be like, oh cool, I've got a, an Audi, do you want to shoot that? Or I've got a cool BMW, do you want to shoot that? And you say, yeah, get your portfolio built up. Now the cool thing about this is this got me my first supercar shoot essentially I was just one point of contact away from a McLaren they said oh hey like I can reach out to a, a guy who owns a McLaren and you can shoot that so that was my first time shooting a supercar and it was just because of word of mouth so you just got to start getting that out there um, another guy I knew he's like oh that's really cool like suit like show me some of your photos showed him some of the photos because I had a portfolio and he's like, you know what? I know a GM of a dealership. I'll go talk to him. I mean, this guy went out of his way, of course, to make sure that I had an opportunity, but he went out of his way, talked to the general manager of a dealership, which just so happens to be South Point Toyota. Word of mouth is so important. Just tell people, because you don't know who's gonna own a cool car or who has contacts with someone. You might just be one point of contact away from a really cool opportunity. Finally made it to our spot here. I've been eyeing this location for a little while. It's uh, Hotel Marriott. My wife and I have been here a couple times. Really like it and I saw this wall and I was like, oh, I gotta come back here and shoot sometime. I think the CHR is the perfect car for this location. It's like one of those like city runner cars, you know. Pretty unique, has a lot of detail in this car. Um, yeah, unique is the best way to describe this particular vehicle. Let me know what you guys think of the 2020 CHR down below. Is it a car that you're like into or something you're like, eh, not for me. That's all right. Uh, so the third tip, guys, is start calling dealerships, uh, start phoning them, do some walk-ins, um, and you just kind of got to get a feel for what's going on in there. But do your research, guys. Make sure you check their Facebook, check their Instagram, check their YouTube, figure out what they're already doing, and then figure out how you can help. Not every dealership is the same. They're not all of the same cookie cutter. They got different managers. They've got different people working there. 
I have been very, very fortunate to work with South Point Toyota. Everyone that works there is incredibly kind. Uh, even though it can be hectic and hard to get a car out sometimes still, um, they're amazing to work with. And I know that it's not the same case everywhere, unfortunately. So the first dealership I ever walked into, believe it or not, was Ferrari of Alberta. Like, what was I thinking? I mean, I checked out their Instagram, checked out their Facebook, checked out their YouTube, and it, like, compared to, like, the quality of the brand, their branding was not that good. So I was like, I'm gonna walk in there. Like, I was shaking, I sat in front with my Honda Civic, like, just so nervous. Walked in, asked for the general manager, and they were like, um, here's his business card. And I was like, oh, okay, thanks. And I, like, zipped out of there. But what that did for me was that the next time that I had a meeting with any of the general managers or any sales associates or whatever, I just had like a little bit more confidence. I kind of like broke that barrier of like being afraid of talking to them. So you just kind of got to do it and push through and then you'll kind of slowly get better at it. So that's step three, just kind of engage with dealerships, start making those phone calls. It's going to be hard. You're probably going to get a little bit embarrassed. They're definitely going to say no. But then you just keep going until you find the right ones that want to work with you, that like your work, and uh, you just go from there. Yep, I'm dropping the CHR back off at South Point Toyota. So guys, this point I'm going to make right here is probably one of the most important points that you're going to hear when it comes to working with car dealerships. It's not about what you can get as a car photographer. It's about what the car dealership needs to market their dealership. So it's really important, I think a lot of us, myself included, go into dealerships saying, I want content, what can I, like which car can I take? I wanna take this one, this one, this one, and I'll get super dope photos for you. That's it, but the reality is these guys are a business. The only reason they actually need you is to make them money. So if you're taking cool photos, sweet, but you're not really making them any money, so they don't need us, guys. South Point Toyota, for example, Toyota Canada, sends them high quality photos all the time. So what you need to do is when you get the call, you need to have like a really, really good plan. Be like, okay, yeah, I'll come in and do this thing that you need as a dealership. And what I did, they actually called me because I did some drone videography for them. Um, they've got a really cool tower here at South Point, so they wanted me to do some drone stuff. But what I did was I went in and I'm like, hey, I do drone stuff, for sure I'll do that for you. Here's my rates. But I can also do this, and these are some of the ideas I have to like help you brand your dealership better. So they're like, okay, we're listening, what's up? So then I shot a RAV4 for them. You gotta make sure that whatever you put out for them is high, high, high quality, that then they won't be able to not ask you back. That's the goal, right? So make sure that once you get in the door, have ideas, diversify your skill set because then drones photos videos whatever you can do to actually get them to call you back and just before we end here guys I'm gonna give you one last bonus tip so once you do get that job you kill it you give them a great product whatever learn how to take the content that you're creating for them and teach them how to put it on the web some of them will have internet managers people that know how to do this stuff but if they don't give some suggestions on, hey, maybe you can post this video to Instagram and boost it for a hundred bucks to get a lot more engagement that, that way instead of just giving them the content and they're like, thanks, they post it to their Instagram with 200 followers and it gets 10 likes and they're like, well, that was a waste of money. So you need to make sure that you actually have a plan for them as well. I think that will benefit you for them moving forward so that they can actually do something practical with that content and see maybe lead generation or get more people liking or following their Instagram or Facebook pages, whatever it may be. So that's the struggle I ran into is that I was creating really good quality content, but they didn't really have the follower base. So learn how to strategize with them and create actual marketing campaigns. And I think that'll get you a little farther than just creating cool car content that's it for me guys if you did enjoy this content please subscribe uh hit that like button because it's really important to me to well, whatever the algorithm does on youtube i don't really know but it would mean a lot to me guys and uh share this with your friends if you find it useful um but other than that i do really really appreciate you guys just watching and taking the time with me and i hope again that this isn't just garbage going up on the internet but that it's useful for you so thanks guys and we will see you in the next one peace